An epic new novel from American-Canadian author Eugene Martin is getting a lot of buzz. And Eugene joins us this morning from his home in Cleveland with more on pure life. Good morning to you. Morning, Annette. So let's start off with this book. First of all, there are no character names. There's just references to the, the main character. He's a kind of a washed up NFL star, just goes by his number, 19. Yeah, um, yeah I've always had a kind of aversion to, to naming characters. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where it comes from. I think it, it's always seemed like a very fictional part of fiction to me. Uh, and um, rather than uh, connecting the reader to the characters, I think they kind of get in the way. Uh, I prefer to keep this sort of um, uh, anonymity in that way, but I think uh, you can actually get deeper into the character. Very much so, because with 19, everything about his life refers to the number that he wore on the field. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he's, um, I think the idea is that you're, you're never maybe really, I think uh, the idea of, of that, of, of someone being so defined by what they did is that uh, uh, for an athlete, perhaps you can't be uh, a former player or an ex-player or a non-player, you're just a player who, who can't play anymore. Mm -hmm. And he can't play, 19 can't play anymore because of a number of brain injuries. And and I love how you, like I am not an NFL, NFL fan at all, but I found that it was fascinating reading about the games and about the injuries that he um, he receives as a, report, as a result of, you know, so many hits to the head, so many blows to the head. And, and that's what kind of takes him on this path that we go through in the story where he's had the incredible highs and then he goes to an incredible low and he's, he's seeking some kind of a miracle cure in the, uh, in the jungles of Honduras. Yeah, um, it, it's actually, uh, you know, the, the, it's, a, it's a stem cell based cure. Um, uh, and that, that's a real thing. It's not science fictional. That's something that people are, are, are really doing with, you know, kind of um, uh, the scientific community kind of frowns on that. You know, they think it's a little bit too soon, but so you don't, it, it's not very accessible here in the States. So yeah, he has to become a kind of medical tourist uh, to make that happen. Um, but things don't quite go as he expected. And uh, from there is that's when he ends up going deeper into the jungle uh, with the group of people and, and things get very dark and, and uh, threatening. Yes, yeah, very, very dark. But it, it kind of shows what a jungle both pro sports are. And, and for his girlfriend, it known as simply she or the girlfriend because she's in a she's in a um, I don't want to name the company but it's it's a cosmetics company and is always going after that next sale right so that's a bit of a jungle there too <laughs> yeah um, that that's I think an, another side of, of uh, you know this 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 world we live in um, uh, she uh, you know the company she works for is is widely thought to be just a, a pyramid scheme. Yeah, and um, those are are you know a, a lot of people feel that capitalism is nothing but a huge pyramid scheme. Right, and and this is also something that the the book brings into play. Okay, sadly we have run out of time, Eugene, but Pure Life is available now. Thank you for the great read. Okay, well you know thanks for the great reaction. I appreciate it.